Hey, everybody. Thanks for joining me on Stars Touch Our Fellow Healing. Happy Sunday to you. My name's Gina. So today I wanted to talk a little bit about what I've been doing. I have um, videos that I'm making, individualized videos for things that are going on with folks. One person might have anxiety really bad and needs something where they can just pop the video in and use it. Let's say in the middle of the night they have anxiety, they can go ahead and use that as needed as often as possible. And what I do is, is I put in Reiki, I do the symbols that are best for that particular person and also use frequencies. So it's um, just amazing what kind of responses I've been getting back. A lot of good reviews, even on people with lung issues, um, COVID, different things that are going on. So if you have something that you need help with healing wise, I am doing the videos right now for $49.99. And that's my price for at this time. I don't know how long it'll last. I, it's going to depend on how busy I get, to be honest with you. But I am so excited about this. I think it's important that people can help their self and be able to heal their self at the time when they need it the most. Um, I did put up a sample video today on YouTube. It's for migraines, pain, and um, detoxification. So it's one that you can um, try if you'd like, and at no charge, and if, if you need that sort of um, healing right now. And then also, I put a lot of stuff in the notes below. So when you go underneath the video, it'll say show more, go under there, click that arrow, and it'll tell you different things. Like if you have a pacemaker, don't use this because there's frequencies in there. Um, if you have, you know, a hearing aid, so it'll explain everything in detail down below. I'm going to go ahead and pull some cards today. It's exciting. We're getting really close to this Virgo full moon couple more days. It's been so bright lately that in the middle of the night, I even get woke up from it. I swear it's just powerful already, getting me all wound up to get organized. And then with Saturn and Pisces, the whole Saturn return coming and Mercury in um, Pisces, we have so much going on. All these things are going to make us want to get organized. And also, it can be a lot about spirituality, just trying to figure out how to bring in the new stuff and keep your um, responsibilities up at the same time. It's, it's a lot. Be careful today on um, the energy, the Uranus and that. What it's doing is, is a lot of people may feel weird feelings like jealousy and things they don't typically feel and it's not something that's going to last so if you can keep yourself busy meditating or doing something creative it'd be a lot better choice for today kind of stay off that social media because comparing ourselves to others it doesn't do a thing it doesn't help because we all have our own meaning of success we're all enough just the way we are so I'm going to pull an animal card first just to get into this energy today see what we need what is it that's going to help us the most today? Sunday. What a beautiful day. Nice and sunny out there, too. I'm just trying to shuffle themselves up here. <laughs> All right, here we go. Well, I have the eagle spirit, and it says, spirit has your back, but it's upside down. So let me just see what the protection message is on that. And I'll go ahead and turn it over so you guys can see that better. All right. Eagle spirit. The protection message. I'm going to send out energy. If you're walking awkwardly and feel embarrassed, eagle spirit is here to tell you that it is only because right now you are meant to fly. Soar over the troubles that have been feeling that have have you feeling scared and alone. See the big picture, yet retain your eagle eye for the details that help you claim your wisdom and courage. Or perhaps you're making yourself small for the sake of getting others to accept you. Now is not the time to be vulnerable and dependent, for you have wings to fly on your own, and you need to do that at this time. There's no need to huddle in a shelter or even to seek out a flock to support you. For Eagle Spirit says you have tremendous wisdom and courage within. Let it arise so that you might soar proudly with the angels serving as the wind beneath your wings. From these heights, you can make the best and most powerful choices for the highest good of all. Well, that's a super cool card because um, it's true. We don't we don't have to call on others um, necessarily. We can call for help from others. 
but we can also go within and see what our own special gifts are and ask our angels to come in and help us do that little meditation to see what is it that I can do and and why am I holding myself back? Sometimes we hold ourselves back because we're afraid of what we might get really busy. We might, <laughs> our lives might change. Oh my goodness. Sometimes we're just, you know, change is one of those things that it's inevitable, but I'm telling you, I, I'm, I'm there with you. You know, there's a little fear there. What if this happens? So try to just have faith. I've been using my coffee cup today because yeah. I want to bring in faith, walk by faith for sure. It's chipped. I can't get rid of it. I just love that cup. So today to keep from getting, um, anxious and fearful and jealous and all those things. I've been making blueberry smoothies. I've been doing white pine needle tea. I've been making things so I can start the work week good with really good, um, healthy choices. So that's what I'm doing today. All right. So for the sacred forest Oracle deck, what do we need? Okay. Purification, pure spirit, how pretty. I just love that card. Oh my gosh. So it looks like we need a little detoxification according to this. Always, I think. It's always good to detox a little bit here and there. Well, it says pine spirit, not pure spirit. Pine spirit, purification. Here we go. Sending energy and I'll just read this nice little meditation. A soft layer of snow has shrouded the pines of the sacred forest. You can sense the formidable life force surging through each tree, even in the deepest winter. As you brush up against a branch, the snow is dislodged and softly falls to the forest floor. With simply the lightest touch of the pine needles, you can feel your entire energy field being purified. That's funny because I just brought up white pine needle tea and it's a very good thing to help rid any kind of spike proteins in the body. <laughs> so I find that interesting. Still sending energy. Your energy field is being cleansed of all that is that it doesn't need. Traditionally, pine branches have been used in cleansing ceremonies because ancient people revered their purifying qualities. The essential oil of the pine is antibacterial and anti antiseptic as well, which is used for protecting people from harmful bacteria. This card appearance is a message to release what doesn't serve, support, or empower you. Let go of anything that feels dull and murky in your life. Cleanse your body and your environment by doing cleaning, space cleaning, clutter clearing, and when your aura field is cluttered and energy is dingy, you can't see the world clearly and will have trouble hearing the messages from spirit. The time has come to lighten up. Eat and live lightly. Before a shiny, vibrant new cycle can begin, it's essential to let go of the old. The brilliance that pours through you can then shine throughout your life and also help many people. But first, the path has to be made clear. The spirit of the pine says, let go of the old, discarded and unused. Purify and cleanse and clutter clear your home, your body, and your life. Release whatever doesn't serve or support you. Take time for a total purification. You'll feel brighter and also be clearer, a clearer channel for the light. I'm still clutter clearing. I've been doing this for quite some time and I am just going to keep going until I feel like I can breathe in here without anything, you know, that I don't need. I like giving stuff away though. So that takes time. You got to find somebody to take it. I don't throw things away. So I always believe that my stuff could be a treasure to someone else. And it's true. I've, I've received used things from other people and, and it's my favorite stuff. Absolutely. All right. <laughs> I'm pulling one out of the angel guide deck. Do a little longer video today. Sacred plan. What a card. Oh my. I can feel the energy in the card even. <laughs> oh, we need a sacred plan. It's so true. Here we go. This card doesn't represent the plan that God has for your life. More the plan that comes to fruition based on your intentions and your highest good. 
You've been given the incredible gift of free will, and therefore your thoughts, deeds, actions, and intentions are in some way going into the universe and curating the experiences, opportunities, and energies that are flowing in and out of your life. When this card appears, you're being encouraged to move into a state of surrender where you recognize that, yes, your intentions have an impact on the creation of your life. How those intentions unfold is not down to you, but in the hands of God. The divine plan is your intentions unfolding in a way that God, the universe, feels is for your growth and highest good. Know that every experience you have been through in your life has been a way marker on your journey towards growth and expansion. And your angels are acknowledging your growth now. We manifest our life. And I I, I go, I don't know. It seems too easy again. Write down what you want. Think about it. Send energy to it. And it's just going to happen. It's been happening for me. I believe in this wholeheartedly. If you're trying to force a plan into action, the angelic guidance is to back down and trust in the greater good. Often when something isn't happening for us, we're frustrated, but that's only because we don't see that our perfect plan is unfolding. When your ideas or plans go wrong, trust the universe has a greater plan for you. And that greater plan isn't something that has already been chosen for you. It's more of a culmination of all of your life's intentions, prayers, and actions washing back towards you with opportunities and experiences. Call on your angels to light up the path ahead. You may feel that you're facing the unknown, but you know that you are always guided and protected. All right. It's going to kind of ground all this in. Just taking in a couple deep breaths. I'm wishing everybody relaxation today. If you need a video, an individual video, please reach out on my email. Um, I'd be happy to help you. If you need to get a hold of me another way, you can put a comment in the comment field and I'd be happy to get a hold of you. And I um, hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. Please like, subscribe, and share, and I'll be back again tomorrow. Thanks for watching.